Siebel's Ohio at GE's facility, taking a look at the last stop that jet engines go through before they're sent to be put onto planes. This is part of a bigger series that we're doing uh, called GE in the Wild that is all about how GE has technology that is both industrial and digital. I love visiting a place like this. Getting to see the things all taken apart, it, it reactivates the 12-year-old in me that used to take everything apart. Well, I guess I still take everything apart. I had no idea what to expect when I came to this testing facility, and I didn't expect to get such a hands-on experience. I was like, I can touch this spinner phone. I can help put it, the packaging around a huge jet engine that's being shipped across the country. Like, you walk in and these engines are huge and they're suspended from the ceiling and you just, it's boggling, the scale. Adam and Ali are fantastic. They are so knowledgeable, they're funny. They walk into a place and you don't have to get them to feign excitement. Seeing this stuff all the time, we're just like, oh, we need to do it, and that's it. But you don't really think of, to somebody who's never seen it before, like how interesting and stuff it actually is to them. Everyone that I worked with here was so fun and so nice and seemed so genuinely happy to do what they were doing. It's just so fascinating to me to think about all the minds and all the hands and all the work that goes into making each one of these. Putting objects and ideas in my head is, is my most regular occupation. And now I go through a facility like this and I see the airplane engine. Now when I look out the window, I'm going to walk through those processes in my head. It's magic that humans make things this reliable and this large. <laughs>